I'm in the rural king. This is like redneck paradise in here. You can get a trampoline, food plot seed, an AR-15, some charcoal for my grill, pellets. But what I'm what I'm blogging about here is this. I want to go over uh, seeds a little bit. So when you're out shopping for seeds this spring, uh, keep in mind to read the label and take a look. This is going to be. Let me see if I can. You got yourself for just a dollar a pound, a little over a dollar a pound. You got a 50-pound sack of red clover here, and this is made for you know a farmer that wants to oversee his pasture and see what the seed looks like. It's well. It's got coating on it. Uh, so let's go over the label real quick. It's a Forge Max Red Clover. It's 65, 67% pure seed. Then there's other crop seed, zero. Inert matter, that's going to be part of your coating. Okay, nitro coat. Uh, it's like a starter fertilizer and probably some lime in there. Germination. 78% you might say well that's really low but hard seed is 12% so some of it won't germinate until later you know maybe in the fall or the following spring and then you have 90% germination which is good it was uh, raised in Oregon they do a lot of forage seed in Oregon so no need to buy really expensive shiny bag seed okay this is cheap red clover and it'll grow anywhere that you want to plant clover all right i'm gonna go down to the food plot seed and see what they have there okay they don't have much in here yet but let's take a look we got provide clover got the shiny bag with the ubiquitous big buck eating it on the front and this appears to be a two pound bag and it costs $17. Now compare that with the 40 pound bag for $44 or $42. Now, it's not really apples to apples because this has chicory in it, but let's see. Let's take a look at the label. Okay, we're looking at uh, red clover yellow clover so that's like a yellow blossom sweet clover which is should be a real cheap seed there's a white clover chicory another white clover another there's so there's three or four white clovers in here and then there's the it's 35 percent yellow jacket coating material wow noxious weed there's some bluegrass in there that's not good 85 percent plus two hard seed okay so that's uh, how much per pound seventeen dollars like eight bucks Let's see, seventeen dollars. It's a little over two pounds. Um, so, yeah, eight dollars a pound, nine dollars a pound. So it costs uh, eight or nine times as much. Is it worth it? There's another shiny bag. Monster box. All right, I like Antler King. Thirty percent protein. Well. That's in the very peak of its growth cycle, okay? And I didn't bring my reading glasses, but... Okay, Crusade White. So you got White, Red, Dwarf, Rape, Ladino, Arrowleaf. 34% coating. By weight, that's, that's a lot of coating. 
Now, I'm not completely anti-coating because the coating makes it germinate a little better and get a good start. So, however, is it really worth it? Boom, $35. That's a lot. So that's three and a half pounds, so 10 pounds, $10 a pound. That's really expensive. Okay. Evolved Harvest. The big buck. Seven card stud. So we can make a stud out of your every buck on your land, right? All right, we got oats. Winter peas. Let's see. Sorry, I can't read very well. Is that 6.7%? So that's not enough winter peas to even make a difference. So it's just kind of on there for sales. Uh, bark ant turnip, red clover. Daikon radish. It's all good stuff, but you can make that seed mix yourself by buying these separately. That's twelve dollars. But I can get a fifty pound sack of oats for twelve dollars. Alright. Other than that, I would say how much of this is oats? Alright, it's mostly a sack of oats. So, it's up to you. Oh, hi puppy. How's it going? I'm taking a film of you. You don't like that, do you? Hi. Okay, so, what's this? It's proven an extreme. Here, here's the guys that proved it. Wow. Oh, this is uh, some kind of feed. Keep your herd really healthy. Okay, whatever. Purple top turnips. 99% pure. Pretty good. 90% germination. Covers up to 1.25 acres. Seven pounds. That seems a little heavy for turnips, but. But look at the bucks you can drag in. Wow. How much is that? 15 bucks. That's actually not bad. Oh. We got all this. Ooh, buck liquor. Black magic, deer cocaine. All right. So the point is, don't get carried away with the shiny bag syndrome. I mean, that's that's a lot of money right there. I mean, I can get it, 50 pounds of really good clover chicory mix for that, and this is um, three and a half pounds. All right, so that's my lecture for today. If you need a good cover crop food plot, check out my other videos and I talk all about what I put in my food plot mixes. And um, you can make your own mixes. You can have them custom made. You don't need shiny bags. Uh, you can store this stuff in plastic buckets in your basement so it's okay to buy a big bag like a 25 pound sack of red clover or a 25 pound sack of white clover you can buy you know a 10 pound sack of chicory that's a lot of chicory you can just mix that yourself and it stores very well as long as you keep it in a cool dry place and uh, just do it that way all right be sure and hit the like and subscribe button 
and click on the bell so you'll be notified when there's a new video. And comment down below, let me know if there's anything you'd like to know more about.